Welcome to this past paper question, uh, which is an investigation uh, question, and uh, many of you have uh, problems with it, okay? Before we start, credits uh, must be given to Cambridge Examinations. This is their question. I did not create it. But some of you have asked me to help you with your maths, okay? And that's what we're doing here now. Okay, what's going on? They say the total area of each of the following shapes is x, okay? So the area of the entire shape is x. The area of the shaded part of each shape is kx, okay? And as you can see, the shaded part is less than the entire area. So k is going to be a fraction or a decimal every time, yeah? Perhaps half or a third or a quarter or whatever times the entire area. For each shape, find the value of k and write your answer below each diagram. Okay. These are 10, uh, or sorry, uh, five diagrams worth 10 points in total. And I'm just going to take these lower two away and I'll, I'll bring them back in a minute, but I need some space uh, to work for these three first. Okay, so what's going on? The first one. So we have a big triangle and um, I'm sure you agree with me that the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two where the base and the height make an angle of 90 degrees, okay? And they tell me that AB is the same as BC, is the same as the length of CD. And considering the height doesn't change, that means that the area of AB, let me call this one uh, E, yeah, the top vertex, yeah? That the area of ABE is the same as the area of BCE, is the same as the area of CDE, yeah? Because if this base is equal in length as that one and as that one, the height doesn't change, so the areas of the three triangles are equal. So that means that the shaded triangle compared to the total area is going to be a third, yeah? Because that is a third of the total area, that's a third, and that's a third, because they're all the same, okay? So K is a third, one over three. Moving on to the circle, so the total area of a circle um, is pi r squared, okay, so that would be the total area of pi r squared. Um, but this is not the total circle, this is only a part of it, eh? a sector. And what do you do then, always? You do, well, that angle out of 360, yeah? And then k is, so I need to, can I take that away? No, it's not working, my rubber. So k is, um, well, that's not going to work either. So k is going to be, 72 over 360, that's what I want to say, yeah? It's not pi r squared, that's just the area of the entire circle. So the area of the shaded sector of the circle is 72 over 360 times pi r squared. So k is 72 over 360. Okay, moving on. Uh, big triangle, small, oh, there we go. Big triangle, smaller triangle. Um, and what do they say? They say EF equals FG. So EF is the same as FG. Uh, so let me say if that is, uh, let's say 2, and then that is 2, so the entire thing would be 4, for instance. They say EI is IH, so EI is the same as IH, okay, so I don't know, let's say that is 3, um, that is 3, and the entire thing would be 6. And um, that means that we're talking about similar triangles, isn't it? Yeah, and the corresponding lengths, so EF, if that is 2, then EG is four, so that's twice as long, okay? And if that one is three, that corresponding side in the big triangle is six, twice as long. So the scale factor, yeah, would be two, okay? All lengths are twice as long in the bigger triangle, yeah? Or half as long in the smaller triangle, yeah? But that is if we're looking at lengths, and then you know that when we're talking about area, it is always k squared, that is scale factor squared. Or volume would be scale factor to the power of three cubed. So in this case, considering we are, are talking about, about area, it is one over two squared, so a quarter, yeah? So make sure you understand similarity, yeah? Because you've done these questions in the past that the area of this is gonna be a quarter, uh, of the total area, yeah? That is if the scale factor is two. Okay, um, take this away, good. Bring these two back. Uh, there you can see uh, the 10 points it's worth, yeah? So a lot of points really use, uh, yeah? Make it a bit bigger. Uh, so make sure 
you are able to investigate problems. There we go. The regular shape, it says, is a regular hexagon. Okay. So a regular hexagon. And then this part is shaded. Now, which part of the total area is that? Now, then you got to play with it a little bit, okay? So it's, it's, it's about playing. I could, for instance, make this parallelogram. You see that? And then a triangle is half the par parallelogram. And how many of those parallel... So, listen to me. Parallelograms can I create? I can create one, two, three parallelograms. And that shaded part is half a parallelogram. So, one over six. Yeah? Because... Um, I could create, if you like, one, two, three, four, five, six of those triangles. One out of six. Okay, the last one, perhaps the most challenging one. Yeah, but also the most fun one. Let's see what's going on. The diagram shows a sector of a circle. As you can see, uh, the center is O, and that is a perpendicular angle. So it's a quarter of a circle. So for the entire sector, that would be uh, pi r squared but then divided by four. Okay, but if I look at the shaded part, uh, what is the area of that? That area is pi r squared divided by four minus the area of the triangle. And the area of the triangle is base times height divided by two. So that is a radius times the radius divided by two. Yeah, are we following me? That's a radius times a radius divided by two. So this is actually the area of the shaded part, yes, yeah, so of that part. So that is the sector area, take away the area of the triangle. Okay, let's turn that into a single fraction, pi r squared over four minus two r squared over four, yeah. I multiplied uh, both by two, so the denominator becomes a four as well. And then I can simplify it to, um, I'll do that here in the corner, I'll squeeze it in, pi, minus 2 r squared over 4 okay so it's pi minus 2 r squared yeah, that's the common factor pi minus 2 r squared over 4 okay now if i multiply this one by k yeah so the total area by k i should get this area so please have a look at that pi r squared over 4 pi minus 2 r squared over 4 and as you can see a lot of it is the same the 4 is the same the r squared is the same so then you can make the conclusion that chi sorry chi k times pi must equal pi minus 2 pi minus 2 so what is k k is going to be pi minus 2 divided by pi okay have a look at that see if you can understand that guys this is an investigation problem this is fun you have to investigate you have to play with what you're being given and i hope you're able to do that yourself now as well okay check my site explainingmaths.com for more free resources and if this was helpful then like and share it please yeah so i can help your friends too all right i wish you a very pleasant day bye bye